Today I'd like to show how to use uh, look to fix here in Maya and it's up there right next to the hypershade and if you open it up um, there are two sections one is for USD if you have a, a USD scene and the other one is for um, native Maya materials and um, if you click on here you see it here uh, on the right corner it's material X um, and first I'd like to show you here is the section where you can find the version 1.4 um, it's changing rapidly so please make sure that you are using the latest one and if you're in here just you click tap and then you go in here and, and create a standard surface material then you get the stack here there are all your materials um, are saved in. You can also save this to disk and load it. And if you have something in the scene, like a cube here, um, you just right click on the document and then assign material to selection. And you dive in here, you have your standard um, service material in here. You can see it's just a shader bar, because if you go in here and use the um, the Arnold one, uh, oh, it's up there. There is also um, an Arnold material, and I just create something in here. So standard first. In go in here, you see there's the Arnold one. There are two different ones. This one can only be rendered by Arnold, and the other one. This one here can also render it for uh, with under other renderers. And next we need um, some image nodes in here, and there are also many of them. If you type in image, you have here the image node for Arnold, you have the image node the standard library, as it is the material X library, and there is a tiled one. That's the one I'm using here. Because this one and does have a UUV tiling here, you can tile it, the other one you can't do it. And that's also the one if you bring here from external, from your uh, hard drive, an image in here, it's also using this uh, tiled one here, so I would say this is the standard one to use. Um, and I have another Maya scene here, I have a drill here. Um, I got this drill from from ArtStation. Um, I will um, post the link down there. You can um, use this uh, use this one here if you like. Uh, it's from one of my piles. It's from Philip. And I go back in here. It's just a low poly geometry to show this. We are using uh, normal maps and all the stuff here. And if I turn off this thing, you can see it's already shaded if we go dive in here you can see i hooked up the materials i'm just the color one then the metalness here specular uh, the roughness and down there is the normal map and there are some things um, in here um, material x as a look of x is not um, converting the um, images um, for you um, I'm using the beta version um, on the other workstation and there it's converting already. But in this one, in 1.4, uh, it's not. So you have to set the materials, uh, so the nodes uh, to the right um, output here. It's color 3 here, you can see, for the color one. And if you um, are going to use uh, black and white maps, you have to set this to float and also to uh, raw for the color space. This is also a raw map, I'm going here into roughness. And this one here is SRGB, and down here for the normal map, you have to set it to raw and to, to vector 3. And in here you can see, if I render this in V-Ray, with the exact same material, the, uh, uh, only one difference is I have two dome lights in here, one for the Arnold one and one for V-Ray. And the same material is also rendering for Arnold here. And I really liked um, all the stuff in here. Material X 
is the future, I would say, for material authoring here.